Today we're talking about my most wanted fragrances on my list for 2020. So if you're interested in new releases or some old fragrances that are on my list and that I want so, so much, then keep on watching. Three, two, one, let's do this. Hi, my name is Monica Chok and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in fragrances and you love them just like me, then do press that notification bell and the subscription button and let's get on with the most exciting video I have filmed in a while. First fragrance that I really really want and is on my most wanted list is Santal Volcanique from Maison Cribelli, I think it's called. So I got a sample. And this fragrance, oh my gosh, I've just, it's one of those fragrances that I don't really hear people talk about this one, this uh, fragrance house. And I was like, oh, what can I expect? I don't really know. It's a niche fragrance house, but oh well. But this fragrance is really, really unique and beautiful. It's sandalwood, but not in a way that sandalwood is usually done. So I really, really like this one. I'd be interested to know the notes of this one, but to me, it's a green sandalwood fragrance. So it's not the smooth, mild, creamy fragrance that you usually get with sandalwood. This is sandalwood, but done in a green, herb, herbal almost way. It's beautifully fresh and lively. It's a lively fragrance, but woody, green, citrusy. Oh, it's just wonderful. I love it so, so much. I think it's got maybe like some spices, like coriander or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it has, but this is just wonderful. Oh yeah, it's got ginger. Totally, yeah. It's got ginger, ylang ylang, cardamom, yeah. Bergamot, sandalwood, musks, coffee, and woodsy notes. But yeah, the ginger in this, oh my gosh, it's so, it's mainly ginger and sandalwood. And ylang ylang really, really makes this fragrance different. It's very different. Like it's one of those fragrances that I smelled and I was like, oh, I can't pinpoint smelling this ever again. And I love this because many fragrances nowadays, they just smell like something else. And this is so unique, so captivating, so fresh, wow. It, it's just one of those fragrances that I really, really want, and I think this this fragrance should um, should get more attention because it's amazing in my opinion. Next up, it's of course one of those fragrances that I think everybody's talking about, and let me tell you, I keep checking every single week if it's gone up on any websites, and I can't find it anywhere. So this fragrance was supposed to be released last month. So it's L'Homme Ideal Extreme from Guerlain, and this fragrance was supposed to be released, but. It hasn't because it's not on Guerlain's website, it's not on any other website, it's not available anywhere and it's probably because of this whole situation uh, that we're facing now that everybody is at home and locked down. Um, but it's such a shame because I love the L'Homme Ideal line. It's bomb. It's got all the notes that I love. Um, so this fragrance will have notes of cinnamon, plum, tobacco, vanilla. They always have like this almondy vibe. I just love those notes so, so, so much. They are one of my favorite notes. And I think L'Homme Ideal, it, that line is just for men, it's amazing. I even wear it sometimes myself because this fragrance is so good. They have just balanced this perfectly where the fragrance is gourmandish and it has got some gourmandish uh, notes that could be almost feminine, but they just turn it and they make it masculine. It's just wonderful. So I'm looking forward to that fragrance. I keep checking. I'm like, mm, I want you. Next fragrance is Gravitas Purum Noton 
and Wilson, I think. So this fragrance is actually a dance Mr. Smelly's fragrance. And I have smelt it when I first met him um, in December when we went to meet up with Steven from Adolescence and we filmed and like we hang out and he has um, shown me this or like let me smell his fragrance then. And I, I remember it and sometimes like you smell because I've smelled so many fragrances that day. Like you just sometimes don't remember, but I do remember this one. It really captivated my attention. I think it's such a stunning fragrance. I remember it to this day. It's just locked in my memory as being a wonderful lavender gentleman scent that to my nose was so attractive and inviting and very, very distinguished. Like. <laughs> It's just such a good, beautiful scent. And my husband has also smelled it and he was really impressed. And I just remember it just smelling wonderful, so classy, so inviting, like a perfect gentleman. And I think it's one of those fragrances that I would love to have in my collection to recommend to you guys, because it's it's similar in its vibe to me, uh, to one of my favorites, YSL La Nuit de Lomme. It's got that same uh, gentlemanly, beautiful, warm, inviting uh, vibe that I think you just cannot beat. It's a wonderful scent DNA. So that is next one on my list that I'm really, really wanting to buy. So the next one is Oud Orange Intense from Fragrance de Bois. I did a little video a while back just reacting to, I think, 10 of their fragrances. And that one was one of my favorites, that one in Parisian Oud. Uh, and just ever since I smelt it, I absolutely love it. It's a coconutty, tropical, sweet fragrance that is very, very grown up, but not outdated. And to me, it's a sweet fragrance, extremely sweet fragrance that I can pull off and not feel like I'm suffocated. It's a beautifully sweet uh, compliment getting um, unique scent profile that I really like. It's got this vibe. It's like as if you put the tropical fruit in the sun and it got all um, really, really like juicy and really soft. Uh, and that is the smell of like slightly kind of warm fruit that has been left um, out in the sun. And I think it's very unique. It, sounds so so attractive to me so beautiful and um, so classy and yeah it's one of those fragrances that I really want but the price it just hurts it hurts my soul and I think my husband will hate me uh, for a day when I actually buy it <laughs> And the last fragrance that I really, really want is another fragrance that I've got a sample of. It's uh, Mise en Cire's newest release. It's Golden Oud. And this fragrance is amazing. I'm not a huge Oud fan, but this fragrance is amazing. It's wonderful. It's a traditional, complementary um, aromas of Oud and Rose. Uh, I think it's got some papyrus in there. Also this I smelled, I sprayed on my husband and it smells amazing on a guy. It smells so good that I wish it smelled that great on me. It's a sweet oud and the oud is so leathery and so masculine, almost like a leather jacket when you smell a leather jacket and it's just got that, mm, it's so good. And it's nicely balanced with the sweetness. This is one of the best ouds I have smelt uh, together with Parisian oud and Onyx from Erin um, Terence Hughes. But whoa, this release, ever since I smelled it, I was like, right, <laughs> I'm buying a bottle. I'm done. I'm done. This is amazing. If you're a guy and you love oud, you'll love this. This is so, so, so masculine and this rings oh, so sexy. Oh. But let me know which fragrances are on your want most wanted list. I would love to know. Um, and are you as excited as me for L'Homme Idéal Extreme? I wonder if you are. If you are, then we might 
just sell out the whole line one girl's life because I think everybody's just waiting for it so far. Um, I post every Monday and Thursday and let's read the comment of the day. Joff uh, John Pathway says Amber Nui is one of my favorite, absolute favorite, probably my signature scent and it's beautiful perfume. My girlfriend loves it on me, picked up the 20 fit uh, 250 ml in duty free in a few months back but already used a lot. Thank you so much for your comment. I do understand your love for Amber Nui. It's one of my favorite uh, Maison Dior scents. It's wonderful. Um, if you want your comments shouted out, then definitely press that notification bell and the subscription uh, button and I will read out your comment. Remember, if you love something, just wear it. You can wear anything you want and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye.